Hello everyone and welcome back to Rangers Ready Go. Sorry I'm a couple of days late uploading this, but uh, I finally got the rest of the footage uh, that I shot from uh, Columbus Wizard World 2018. Uh, I got that finished, edited, and uploaded onto the channel. Uh, that took me a lot longer than I expected, uh, mainly because I had to track down some new editing software because the last editing software I was using no longer supports the features that I need to edit. Don't you hate it when that happens? <laughs> uh, but I tracked some editing software down, and uh, it's all working fine now, so don't worry about that. Uh, today, I'm going to talk about Hasbro wanting to make new... Power Rangers movies. More specifically, a sequel to Saban's 2017 Power Rangers. Why? Heaven help us, why? The 2017 Power Rangers was probably the worst thing I've ever seen that has anything to do with Power Rangers' name. Anything. The worst. Literally the worst. I know there's some people out there that says, oh, well, it wasn't bad, or it could have been worse, but I've never ever come across anyone yet to say, oh, yeah, I loved the movie. I thought it was great. Because it's not. Not even the 1995 original Power Rangers movie, in my mind, that I think was really any good. Turbo, a Power Rangers movie, which came out in 96, that was... Eh. Eh. It was okay. I didn't think I didn't think it was that bad. It wasn't as bad as the original movie or this new movie. But at certain points it makes you wonder when are they gonna get the idea that the movies don't do that great? Just stick with the show. Stick with the series. Put some of this money you're planning on putting into the movies. Put that money back into the show, back into your, your series productions. Don't, don't waste it all on one movie that can make or break the name. Why? Just why? <laughs> these two movies, these two movies, like I've said, they could have been better. This, on the other hand, didn't need to exist at all. This was fine, but wow, was, were mistakes made. So many mistakes were made. I know Saban made a lot of mistakes in fusing uh, three different series together and call it Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. And that's basically the, this was basically the culmination of all of that terrible fusion. Ugh, I wanted this to be so much better really wanted this to be better so it's in the past it's done this however is still fresh in everybody's memories i don't want it to be fresh in my memory i want to i want to do that thing dumbledore does in harry potter with his wand and just whisk my memories away just just drop them into a fountain of nothingness and just bottle it up and throw it away so Hasbro plans on making a sequel to this. Why? Because the fans want it, apparently. I'm a fan. I'm probably one of the biggest Super Sentai Power Ranger fans in the world. Don't want to brag, but I am. I am so passionate about Super Sentai and Power Rangers, I barely have room in my imagination for anything else. I try to squeeze anime and superhero movies in there. But for the majority, 90% of my imagination is all comprised of Super Sentai and Power Rangers. Ever since I was a little kid, it just consumed me and took over. Now look what I do. But this, I said before, was a slap in the face to fans. So in my opinion, the fans that are out there who wanted a sequel to this, you don't you don't know what you want. You don't you don't you don't know what the true meaning of Super Sentai and Power Rangers is supposed to be. You don't know what the formula is supposed to be. This is this is wrong. This is not Power Rangers. 
This is Transformers crossed with Iron Man on crack. Seriously, that's my opinion. I already did a full in-depth review of this movie. I think it was last year. Damn near a year ago, if not more. I can't stomach this. I just can't. And the fact that Hasbro wants to make a sequel, or sequels, more than one, of this, it just, it just makes me, makes me lose faith in humanity, almost. I know that's pretty extreme, but come on. Everybody grew up with the series. Movies of Power Rangers didn't exist until 95. Then there was Turbo in 96. Then there was nothing, no Power Ranger movies, until that last year in 2017. So we waited over 20 years for a movie that was even worse than the originals. Here's my advice. Hasbro, if you insist on making sequels, sequels to last year's 2017 Saban's Power Rangers, do everybody a favor. Please do everybody a favor. Add the Green Ranger Make him a likable character. I know he's supposed to be evil at the beginning and then become good and join the team. Make him a likable character, aside from all the other rangers from that movie. Because all of those characters, I did not like. I, didn't, I, didn't, I couldn't sympathize with them. I couldn't relate to them. I had nothing in common with them. At least when it came to the series, to the show. All of the rangers person, each ranger had a diverse personality that at least somebody, everybody watching, could relate to it at some point or another. What makes them think, what made Saban think that we could relate to a criminal? I'm talking about Jason, the red ranger in the movie. Power Rangers are not supposed to be deviants. They're not supposed to be criminals. They're supposed to be the embodiment of everything that is good and innocent. So please, please, if you make a new movie, I don't care if people don't like it. Change the Rangers' personalities, please. Don't make them stuck-up brats or a rich kid or a depressed teen who hates herself and even after becoming a superhero still hates themselves. Don't make them criminals on house arrest. I personally don't want any more Power Ranger movies to be made. Like I said before, I want all of the money that they plan on putting into Power Rangers movies, I want that to pour back into the series, because that's what we like. Yes, granted, in Japan, in, uh, for Super Sentai, they have lots of movies that come out in the theaters. Lots of, uh, or rather, uh, specials, as they call them. They may not be full movie feature length, like, say, an hour and a half. They may be 50, 60 minutes long. But they're still a hell of a lot better than anything that Saban has put out here in the last few years. I, I, I don't even really know where this rant is going, and that's basically what it is, is a rant. Everybody, please, leave comments in the comments section below and let me know your thoughts. I really, really am curious to know, were you a fan of last year's Saban's Power Rangers? Because I wasn't. That's my opinion. And let me know if you are excited for Hasbro to make sequel and or sequels to said Power Rangers movie from last year. Let me know what kind of changes you would like to see. Or you can just basically tell me off. That's fine, too. You know, I get, I get plenty of hate, too, so that's, that's totally fine. I can deal with that. I'm a, I'm a big boy. I'm a grown man. I can handle it. What I can't handle is 
the damnation and ruination of my childhood <laughs> that I am that I am completely and utterly passionate about. So that's that's my opinion, guys. Just wanted to come r real quick and let you know, even though it probably wasn't quick, it probably ran over 10 minutes already, that I am not happy at the fact that Hasbro is making sequels to this movie. I would have rather them just remade the whole thing, done it right this time, with the proper character personalities and traits, and and just ran with that instead of instead of just trying to make a sequel or sequels to something that not many people liked i hated and i don't want to see any more of so until next time guys be sure to like share and subscribe if you haven't already you all know the deal help me out channel's growing i'd like it to continue to grow